I'm a fellow designers. The question is, I've got a junction box and it's configured for eight terminals. I've 24 terminals for eight pair cable. I've got an eight pair cable here. And I need to change my design to cater for a 12 pair cable. But the, the thing is, this thing has already been wired. The wiring has been done, it's been printed, and I need to extend it and change the design. What is the quickest way to do it without losing all my wiring that I've done on this junction box? Now, well, this is where libraries come in. And libraries are so powerful, it's unbelievable. If I look at my libraries, I've got predefined libraries that I create, and you can create your own and add it to the libraries. This one is a plus minus and a screen, for instance. This is analog out plus minus and a screen type. Um, this is plus minus screen. Here we got 36 terminals up to 12 plus, 12 minus and screen. And this is exactly the one I need. So to expand this one, I'll just drag and drop my T strip on here and it will create a, a 12. Um, a 36 terminal T strip that can cater for up to 12 bits. My cable is still 8 p but if I preview now this document, here was a document, and you can see that uh, all my terminals is there, all the extra terminals. I haven't connected a cable up yet, but a wonderful thing about a detail connection in, in FTC is. I don't have to lose any of my existing connections when I do the wiring. So let's go and um, do some wiring. And if I go to my uh, cable, if I click on my cable, we'll see now my cable is if we just move it a little bit up to right. My cable is now 12 pair cable hanging here. I'm only going to get 11 pairs up because I've already got a single wires on this side. I also already got the instrument on on uh, on this piece strip. The instrument is in the junction box. That's why it looks so funny, but if you look at this guy, F212 is on terminal 6, 6, 6 plus 6 minus and screen. And if I look at my terminal strip up here, we can see that when we get to 6 plus, 6 minus, that transmitter is wired up there. Okay, so let's quickly wire up the rest of the cable. So now I've got all these cables, all these additional co cores or pairs that's not connected to this piece strip. And I can just drag and drop them up. If we get to up to 11 and 12 is a spare, because of the one instrument that's in the panel. So let's just save our work. Let's go to our PLC panel. And this terminal strip extended also. So we go back to my panels, my card panels. It's PLC panel. And we are on our T strip 003. And if I look at my T strips, I want to add up to 12 again. So let's use the same termination convention. Now my T strip is, is up and running. If I go to my to my locker detail view, let me refresh this one. There's all my extra terminals all wired up. I can take my cable, just drag and drop it on here. It will wire 
all the rest. Remember this one, don't have an extra one, so let's just create terminal here on, on this guy as well. If I save my work and we look at a quick preview here, we can see that everything is wired through up to here. And there's the two, in, the, the two, two additional channels for this, for this um, landing strip. So if we go and view our drawing now on our field panel, JBA01, if I view this guy, preview it, my wiring is right through up to my landing strip, all my spare cables, I can hook in some more instruments on this side. And that's how quickly you can extend the T-strip without having to redo all this wiring and cross wiring to extend the cable and a T-strip or a junction box. I hope that answers the questions. Have fun designing.